Hey, so now in your Zappy Chat AI account, you can create unlimited live chat widgets, unlimited live chat bots, customize the look and feel of each one, as well as their role and responsibility, and even which business they work for. All entirely native in Zappy Chat without any other CRM or software. It can all be done entirely in your Zappy Chat account. And so I want to show you how to create multiple live chat widgets in your account because previously you could only create one native Zappy Chat live chat widget, but now it is open to everyone to create as many as you want. So that means you can create a sales bot, a support bot, an FAQ under a video bot, and have all of those running for your business. And you can create those three bots for each one of your clients as well. Um, basically any use case that you might want to have a chat widget on the site, you can now create multiple of those directly in Zappy Chat. So check this out. When we come in here to create a new bot in app.zappychat, you just can scroll down to live chat and create a new live chat bot. And you'll see that the live chat settings are now here in the bot settings so that rather than affect them universally, it affects only this live chat widget. So let's just walk through it real quickly together. And so I'm going to call this live chat demo. Uh, I'm going to skip over the internal description for now. And for the prompt, let's just say uh, your role is to learn about the business goals of users before booking them and for a demo with Zappy Chat. Over here in the intro message, I'm going to say, interested to learn more, have any questions, fire away, or ask me anything. So the intro message gives the uh, sort of prompt at the beginning of the chat, and the prompt over here gives the direction for the AI. Uh, you can drop in a CRM API key there if you want to create contacts over in your CRM. Uh, but like I said, this can function entirely independent of any sort of CRM. It can book onto a Calendly calendar uh, or just have any sort of conversation without any other software. Um, we can turn on the chat bubble. Uh, let's see, I'm just going to put it as the sort of standard blue here. We've got live chat demo as the name, but I might change it to Zappy Chat AI. Um, so you can get a sense of the look and feel over here, change the size, change the avatar, uh, add in some custom CSS, whatever you want to do. Um, you can choose whether or not you want to gather the contact information uh, by having this chat form widget. Give it a little, uh, please provide your contact info to continue chatting. Um, decide if you want to get the name, email, phone number. Uh, the email is required in order to create a contact here. So if you're using the form, it's going to require at least the email, uh, but you can toggle on those or off those other two as well. And then down here, you can customize the AI settings on that, determine if you're going to book it into a calendar, into a calendar, giving it the booking ability. So um, into a calendar, high level or none. Uh, and so we might just use none for this, or I guess we're doing a booking demo. So we'll just send it to my Calendly calendar. Uh, update additional settings in there, but none of those are necessary. They're all completely optional. And so by clicking add here, uh, well, I have to connect my Calendly, um, which I believe I'm logged in over there already. So if you did a non-booking type, you wouldn't have to connect your calendar. Um, but once you save, then you're going to have these options for getting a widget code or getting an embedded chat code. Now, the widget code uh, will set up a chat widget down in the bottom right corner, uh, sort of your native chat widget that pops out and has the option to click on and open it up, follows you around the page. Whereas the embedded chat code, you can embed onto any website in an actual element. So say you're scrolling down and you get to a portion that has a sort of FAQ bot that uh, allows the visitor to stop and engage there. So those are the two, the differences between those two codes. They'll both use the same settings here that you've laid out and the things that you've customized, uh, but both of those are available there. And so as you can see in here, I've got three different live chat bots. I can go over to locations and FAQs and I can load in hundreds of FAQs for each one if I want for them to reference so that my Calendly bot has questions about that, uh, appointment setting, same with this demo or the FAQ. If I have a transcript that I've turned into FAQs off of a, off of a webinar and I want to have this as like a TLDW, a too long don't watch bot under a video, 
um, I can have all of those live here and even have the chat history uh, showing up natively in here. So you can see these two new ones don't have any history, but this one has a test from earlier uh, where you can actually see the conversation history as well. Once more, all natively here in Zappy Chat. So just opening up more tools and more ways for you to use conversational AI to win more customers and help grow your business. I'm excited to see how you guys use this and for what different use cases uh, you'll put this into application because I know that people have been coming up with all sorts of ideas, all sorts of requests for ways they can put this on and we want to make this as flexible and as useful as possible so you can use it across your business in every way you need. So hop in, give it a try, let me know your thoughts. Cheers.